Well, what happened here? Almost nothing, and that's the point. Um, there was catastrophe all around the college and uh, all around the medical center, but we were buffered from it, really, by good preparation. I think um, uh, in what could have happened could have been terrible. Those of us who lived through Allison remember the disruption and the chaos and really the uncertainty about what was happening around us. None of that happened here, which is really a tribute to great preparation and good leadership. So the Human Genome Sequencing Center is actually a really good barometer for continuity. So we run essentially a 24-7 operation generating human genome data that we contribute to national projects. So we're very used to production continuity. And so if you look at our production curves for this month, you will see a dip. It is about uh, a little less than 10% of the month's production will be affected. But the reason it was affected is because of the safety concerns for people coming to the college to do their routine uh, loading of machines and processing of data. There was nothing here at the college to stop, uh, to stop the operations. If the college hadn't have been operational, we would have lost one half of the month's activity. It's interesting to get emails and phone calls from those in other cities who ask questions like, do you guys have emergency power? Or how long will you be out for? Because people in other cities just can't understand the general level of preparedness and readiness that we've developed here because of our experience in these other storms. The infrastructure here is really robust. I think it's, it's, um, it's a, uh, something that can be used as a lesson for other places.